Good morning. This is Mike with the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chicago. It's about 5 a.m. on Sunday, November the 17th, and I'll take the next few minutes to provide an overview of the significant severe weather threat that will be developing across the area later on this morning and continue through the afternoon. There are several weather threats that we're concerned about today, including severe thunderstorms, with the main threats being damaging winds, possibly in excess of 75 miles per hour. There's a decent threat for tornadoes today, uh, possibly long-tracked and very strong. Large hail and lightning are also a possibility with lightning occurring with any thunderstorm. The main threat areas across all of northern Illinois and northwest Indiana later this morning and continuing through the afternoon. We're also concerned about very strong winds that will be occurring without thunderstorms, with gusts up to 60 miles per hour developing later on this afternoon with the passage of a cold front. We do have watches and warnings that are already in effect. The brown shaded areas are a wind advisory and the orange shaded areas are actually a high wind warning area and this is where we're expecting the best potential for those 60 mile per hour non thunderstorm wind gusts later this afternoon. The severe weather outlook produced by the Storm Prediction Center includes the area in a moderate risk of severe thunderstorms for northern Illinois and a high risk for severe thunderstorms basically from Interstate 55 and points east through this afternoon. We are expecting an increase in thunderstorm coverage as we go through the morning hours with the severe weather threat also increasing with time. The yellow shaded area represents an area where we expect isolated severe potential as we go through about 11 o'clock this morning central time. Storms are expected to increase in coverage and intensity late this morning and through the early afternoon hours with the red shaded area highlighting the greatest severe weather threat during this time frame. Storms will be moving very quickly and eventually off to the east as we go through the late afternoon with the primary severe weather threat area across northwest Indiana before things exit off to the east early this evening. It is important to be prepared for the threats that we do have today, which again are damaging winds with gusts of 75 miles per hour or more possible. There's a good threat for tornadoes today, some of which may be potentially strong and long tracked. Large hail is a possibility and lightning will occur with any thunderstorm that does develop. It is important that you are prepared to implement your severe weather safety plan. We do have a history of tornadoes in the month of November across the area with 12 such occurrences, seven of those which were considered significant, or EF2 or greater. Don't forget your tornado safety rules. It is important to get to the lowest floor of a building or underground, put as many walls between you and the outside world as possible, and avoid windows. Tornadoes can develop very rapidly and may also occur without any advance warning. Again, our main threats that we're concerned about today are severe thunderstorms with damaging wind gusts possibly in excess of 75 miles per hour. There's a good threat for tornadoes, possibly long tracked and very strong. Large hail is possible and lightning will occur with any storms. The main threat is from late this morning through the afternoon. Storms will be moving very quickly between 60 and 70 miles per hour. Severe weather may also develop very quickly. Once a storm starts, it may very quickly increase to severe levels. It is very important to monitor for watches and warnings today. If you hear thunder or see the sky get dark, it's best to go inside and see if there are any warnings that have been issued. I want to thank you for joining me this morning for the overview of this significant severe weather threat. Be sure to monitor our website, weather.gov Chicago, or our Facebook and Twitter pages for updates on the forecast as we go through the day. And be sure to stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, our website, and local media outlets in case there is the issuance of severe weather warnings later on. Thank you.